is your time to shine out. Show me what you can do. Make a move. The way my hands feel on your body. The way we're dancing in the dark. With every move I make, you're falling. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the Ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond. We are Hive Ultimate, a group of players and coaches from all over the world working together to progress the next generation of Ultimate strategy. We've helped top teams win world championships and new teams introduce the sport in a fun and inclusive way. Search for Hive Ultimate on YouTube to learn more about our cutting edge strategies and to see analysis of world class teams. To find out what Hive can do for your team, head over to our Patreon page where you can gain access to our exclusive drills and session plans and to join our worldwide community of coaches. Get ahead of the curve with Hive Ultimate. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. I'll be back to you. All right. A little something special for the WGGGGGMBCC. It's a lyrical sculpture in the sand that I carve. This is Flash on the mic, now on the Algarve. From 40 to 60, we are on the attack. If I can just get some vitamin I from my back, foot on the line, yeah, I'm ready to go. Or did I just pull a muscle? Hold on for a moment. Play it cool, just act like I'm young. Got flicks on my wrist and lyrics on my tongue. 20 more, 10 more years left to go. Tricks from the past and a buttery flow. A little slow off the start. I like to call my speed brisk. The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc. You know how it goes with the sand between my toes. I got none of the pivots, but all the throws. Yeah, I got some dodgy knees. Disc in my hand and the sun in the sky My dad bod goes jiggle and my hucks they fly The spirits are rising like a disc on the breeze Going miles out of bounds to the Portuguese seas I played a point, yeah I need a sub And a good long soak in an XL tub Don't need to run anymore, I'm one of 14 handlers Happy Gilmore this disc like we're all Adam Sandlers I'm slow off the start I like to call it brisk the sunshine glints on my slow moving disc You know how it goes with the sand between my toes We got none of the pivots but all the throws Alright, let's finish this off My six foot two still works in the bar I can see for miles, got drinks on my radar Port on our party is the place we flee For the friends we see and these great memories Yeah, I feel the spirit as I pull every sinew Shatter my knees, yet we're gonna continue Take this hand, better yet carry me From the beach to the bar, better yet to the sea I'm slow off the start, I like to call my speed brisk The sunshine glints off my slow moving disc You know how it goes with the sand between our toes We got none of the pivots, but all of the throws Welcome back. It's the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships 2022. And boy, do we have a game for you. We have Courier Islands versus Young Legends. Benji Rees and Hannah Pendlebury on the call with you this fine, sunny morning. It's lovely, isn't it? It's glorious. All of the wind and rain of yesterday has been... Let's not talk about it. I was going to say forgotten. It hasn't. I think, I'll <laughs> I think I'm probably still a little bit dapped through. And we are, uh, yeah, we're very pleased that the sun has finally made an appearance at this world grandmasters level. Of course, uh, EBUCC 
A uh, couple of days ago was very nice in terms of weather conditions. We've still got a blustery breeze, but look at these two rosters, Benji. You can see that what's instantly recognisable is that the Young Legends carrying a few more players than Carrier Island are. So you wonder, especially a few days into the tournament, how that will make an effect. Morning, everyone. <laughs> you can see I've got my sunglasses on. That is how bright very, it is this morning. Very stylish. Oh, I don't know about style, Benji. More of a... F a, f a f function over form type of person myself but Korea Islands will get us started on defense allowing the German club side to show us what they can do we've seen them once before on this live stream and they had a little bit of a, a struggle if we could say that yeah a, a bit of a grind of a game in all honesty and for young legends they came second last time out and they're gonna have to do it the hard way if they want to finish there again we streamed there uh, a pool play loss to uh, No Su O, the Houston side. Although, but to be fair, Houston are looking pretty devilishly good. Yeah, that put them second in the pool, carrying that loss against No Su O forward. For Courier Island, they uh, finished third in their pool, beating Best Before, a win which they carried forward into this stage. Well, getting us started now. It's Butcher with the disc. That first pass, nice leading up line to Vatel. Oh, this young legend's offense already making easy work of gaining yards. On that front corner now, sits and look, puts the lead pass into the path of Jens Achenbach, who's one of two number 91s on this young legend's side. Although one of them, you'll notice, Benji, has a tape throw on his back. Yeah, it's not the thickest tape I've ever seen, I will be honest. But I, but, but I appreciate the concern and the candor that they showed in, in kind of confessing to their mistake. And it helps that having done like Young Legends already this tournament and a couple of times last year, get, get that little bit of a name recognition for us anyway. But a good, strong start there for the Germans. Couldn't have hoped for a better start to this game. Absolutely. A nice, slinky, smooth, clean, offensive hold. And Jens Achenbach, the scorer there, is going to be... I think we'll be saying his name a couple of times in this game, Benji. He was a big part of the play for Young Legends. Yeah, moves spryly across the sand. Uh, in their second pool games yesterday, Nosuo had a 13-5 win over Courier Island. And Young Legends beat best before 13-4. So, Curry Island now starting a Schwartz with the disc. This is good movement. Schwartz popping and giving and going. Ciao. Hoffman to Sift. Liebel, Sift. Oh, and pops in a very nice pass to the front line. I think there might have been a bit of uh, running and getting free on the open side just in the end zone, which is classic. I mean, it's not a bad place to get free, in all honesty. That time for Courier Island, it's always, they're always kind of cursed with their existence because the nature of Courier Island in international tournaments usually is that they fill gaps in the schedule. And because, how can I put this politely? They don't exist, it's not a real country. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they do exist as a team and players, but the uh, the genesis of Curry Island is a fascinating story, Benji, because it was they entered a tournament and it was a bunch of expats who couldn't make it on their national squads. And they just entered. And it was back in the days, bef if I can dare say it, before <laughs> Google ruled the world. Yeah, they entered. They sent in a strongly worded letter. I can't believe you've not included the great nation of Curry Island. This is an international disgrace. We'll be taking this higher up the chain if we don't get a place. Uh, Patrick and Sevilla saw through the ploy. But they did. They asked for a national anthem. They asked for confirmation. They couldn't find enough proof to disqualify them outright. And then at the tournament, they were like, yeah, fair play. No, we, we don't actually exist. We uh, just uh, wanted to be part of the magic here on the field. So a big disc going up. Hermeki underneath it takes it well. And pops for the goal, and it's another clean hold. This is lovely stuff. Perhaps these teams, Benji, making the most of the quieter weather conditions. Yeah, I think after yesterday, this feels like a cooling sea breeze, in all honesty. Utilising the uh, underneath options on the first possession. This time, happy to open up the arm a little bit, stretch the field, get that deep element 
to their offense. Well, Claudia Hermaking had made a lovely cut. Plenty of room for that one to be put into. But of course, Carrier Island, I believe, Benji, is being uh, progressively removed from Nations Championships. Yes, which is, I mean, I, you understand why. It's a shame for Carrier Island fans and a shame, I think, as well for schedule makers because Carrier Island do very nicely fill those gaps to make the formats easier. Although not always. There have been some inclusions, Benji, of Carrier Islands that you kind of cock your head and think, that's interesting. Because they are... But then sometimes these teams do not get sort of confirmed until later stages. Yeah, there was definitely that. I think in the Open Division at EBUC, where they there was a slightly awkward format because someone pulled out but didn't pull out. So they put Carrier Island in and then it was like, oh, well, we've already invited them now. We can't really turn them away. That's a nice dick into space from Narayan and connects with Libor Seft. Narayanan's a player who's very involved in the Indian ultimate scene. It's either the Bula flag, the uh, the Federation of Beach ultimate. Yeah, I was mentioning about Korea Island. Normally, they're because of the nature of their existence, they precluded from from finishing in the top eight. But there's nothing stopping going, uh, stopping Korea Island from going all the way to to the to take home a gold medal because this is a club and not an international event. Well, after the overthrow. Young Legends are going to throw one of their own, and those are the first two turnovers we've seen this entire game so far. Iman getting uh, ambitious and expansive with that blade across the field. I like the look, but just not the connection. Yeah, Feldman now putting on the mark. Nice lead into space for Annika Rutschau. And some kind of call. Cool. Perhaps a foul. Yeah, and Ryanen's just kind of shaking his face a little bit, so I wonder if he just got a shell, uh, shoulder to the jaw as he came through, potentially. But there's no infraction there, so the turnover stands. Loving the headband of Jan Honsat. Felgner threatens the low-release backhand. Korea Island's choosing a backhand force rather than Picking the flicks into the wind. That's what she saw. I don't think we saw any backhand forces yesterday. With, of course, that being the more secure throw against these high wind conditions that we saw. Klima. Oh, and that's an easy pop for goal. Eric Feldner finds Logan, I think. Oh, I was just calm. We'll swing it around the back a little bit. And then on the, uh, on the eventual kind of scoring sequence, just in rhythm, nice throw to the open side, catch, turn downfield, the continuation's there, it's not gone too early so that it's closed off that space. You can lead them out towards the sideline and I think it's Jens Schoenberg with It the is score. indeed. The number 67, 10 times German Open Ultimate Champion with Feldrunner, which I'm going to say probably translates to field runner. Yeah, probably. Feldrenner based out of Mainz, my understanding is. Indeed. And it's, uh, of course, that's where you get the Mainzel Renner, the Mainzel Mädchen, Feldrenner, Mainzel Renner. It's the mixed team. I can do Frisbee, me. That's good. That's good. That's good. Some, some good Frisbee maths there. So that pull from Schunk is going to go comfortably out of bounds. So the Courier Islands sideline starting to generate a bit of energy. So we see that first break for Young Legends. Toton gets us started. Vogel. Oh, a lusty inside flick is going to overshoot Medkova. Great effort to try and get the disc back from Tutel. Achenbach across to Shunk. Low clap catch to secure it. Zomaya has Achenbach available for a short one. Chooses a nice swing across. Lang. 
Back to Achenbacher. Easy dish into the centre. There is space available. Oh, and it's taken, but it pings off of the fingertips. Claudia Hermeking unable to keep that one in. And perhaps a bit of a chat. A foul call on the throw by the looks of it. Yeah, that it was quite catchable. Yeah, it was a little bit high and really zipped in there. Ah, uh, actually, you can see there the butt coming through of Eric Duton. Gets a little bit too much. Probably threw, off, threw the man off balance. So, oh, and that's a very nice piece of inside backhand breaks. Close Schunk throws the goal this time. Well kept by Claudia Hermeking. Yeah, they call him Pirelli because he can... He can turn on the jets when he needs to, but also he can really gun the throws in there. Well, after throwing high into the open side before, Achenbach there throwing that swing. Huge effort from Jay Lee. Rocking the lay. And this is a very aggressive option here from Schunk, who rifles it into Hermiking. For a 4-1 lead, Young Legends looking good out here on the sand this morning. And obviously that is what we expected out of this match, was to have Young Legends extend a lead. You're seeing there the, the, uh, the hastily taped back of Schunk's jersey. Indeed, he uh, put the wrong shirt on when he left the accommodation this morning. So he's borrowing one of Jens Achenbach's one with no sleeves but not quite a tank top. I, yeah, that one actually looks like it's been, it's just a natural top that he's cut the sleeves off as opposed to a proper full on embrace it deep sleeve tank. Well, I can be clearly a fan of taking us to the gun show, but it's Shunk that will be doing so. Narayan swings across to Rochelle. Laser into the center for Schwartz. Jeff Schwartz, stole count starting to rise, does have surfed available, but guns it far too much. And gunning to the deep space, it's going to be Ingo Hertel. We saw so many overthrows yesterday for Young Legends trying to connect with Ingo Hertel. Yeah, he's a player who really likes to attack the end zone. And they saw it there, they just couldn't get the throw. Just to hold up a little bit, could have done with maybe a touch more finesse on that one. Ingo Hertel now playing a bit of ultimate with uh, Wall City. I hear Berlin's going to be good this year. Well, they certainly won our hearts in Carole at the UCF by putting on some great ultimate and a great party, but fantastic field position now given to Young Legends. Bit of confusion as to who's going to pick it up, but it makes its way into the hands of Sormeyer quite quickly on an easy dish. Faking around, dishes back again. Hurtle throws an assist in a rare moment of change. Tim Kolstad picking up that goal. Yeah, he's not just a one-dimensional player. Happy to distribute the disc as necessary as well. That time it comes from, there's a little bit of the turnover came, there's a little bit of clutter and clustering in the reset space. And it means that Iman can, he's just a little bit switched on, I think, wary of that potential threat, gets the hand in there to knock it to the floor and then outside the end zone again. It's patience from the young legends. Hulkemeyer, Hertel underneath. And again, nice timing. Those cuts aren't coming too early and closing off that space. That is six assists now this tournament for Ingo Hertel to go along with four goals. Well, he's definitely a favourite target in the deep, so perhaps it's been a case of the through this tournament, Benji, him getting it on the goal line and then just dipping it in for that final pass. But that's going to be a, a big gainer if Korea Islands can connect with it, running and laying out. It's Jansen Wu. Full 
commitment, which you love to see, even if he couldn't quite get there in the end. It wasn't too far off, though. A nice idea. Yeah, always worth a go. Well, and with the wind coming right to left on our screens, much lower than yesterday. Lang swinging across to Zormaya. Yeah, mercifully lower, I, was, I, was, I would suggest. Absolutely. Well, perhaps Korea Island saying, well, we were happy to play a little bit of yards as well as some creative long throws. Learman sells the mark absolutely completely down the river. Zormaya now. I mean, he was so far down the river, he'd ended up in the Atlantic Ocean. So Maya with a big one across, but it's going to be too high to be caught by Hermiking. Yeah, I think just saw that Hermiking had the space and wanted to take that option, as rightly so, but just maybe didn't quite get the form right, I think. Rushed it a little bit rather than sticking to those fundamentals. So Tong's going to open up another big one, and this time it hits Jose, Fa Jose Falco or Falcao. I'd, I'd go. Perfectly. I'd go Falcao, like the. How now, Falcao? Like the like the Colombian footballer. Ah, there you go. But I I I fully expect to be wrong, so apologies if I am. Well, we'll go with a bit of uh, football. Although football. I do hear a smattering of rain. No, you don't. I do. No. It's happening, Benji. No, I We've hear got it. grey clouds. It. I hear it as well. We've got a grey cloud over the top of us. However, I'm pleased to report that looking out towards the ocean, which is where the wind direction is coming from and slow churning movement of the clouds, it does look to be clearer skies coming for us soon. So hopefully it's just going to blow through. Let's hope. It did make us all a bit miserable yesterday, the weather conditions, everything soggy and damp. The players at least having one game a day. Uh, one day no, one game each time slot of these four games in the day. Yeah, you get a morning game and then an afternoon game. Just enough time for a nap and a snack and to change jerseys and underlayers and get nice and dry. Well, so as dry as, as dry as you can anyway. For the athletes, I think they can get dry, Benji. But for us, it's difficult. A low one, very well collected by Feldner. Looking around. Oh, and has an easy one in the back corner. Just rolling around in the sand for a little bit of decoration on the end of that score. So that's another in for Peter Lorglum. Interestingly, what you see there is the defender gets suckered into looking at the disc, and that means as soon as you've not got your eyes on the, on the player behind you, you've no idea where they're at. It, it becomes difficult to locate them. You can try and turn around or have a look over your shoulder and maybe they're not where you expect them to be. And Young Legends rightly punish that. Well, a bit of a conservation of energy there for Young Legends. Not running towards the line like we saw perhaps at the uh, European Beach Ultimate Club Championships with all the spring chickens running around. This division, of course, loose mixed format. Female matching players must be turning 45 or more this year. And male matching players must be turning 48 or greater. Just goes to show the longevity of Beach Ultimate. Not many of these players you get to see on grass or in heaven for fend indoors, Benji. Well, indoors, you don't have to run, so they'd be good at it, right? It's all about the throwing. Uh, no, I, I, I see the point in that Beach is certainly a more forgiving surface for your joints than than grass, or especially indoors, which is very high impact. Teuton's going to bring this in from the brick mark. And we see a zone coming out for Young Legends against Currier Island. Teuton takes the easy given reset to Vogel. Got to be a trap on this near sideline, and indeed it is. She launches it deep. Oh, and that is perfect execution of what looked initially like a quite a frustrated show. Janssen Wu with the goal, rolling around like a teddy bear. Grip it and rip it. It's a good strategy. The two way, the, well, I say there are two ways. There are various ways you can beat the zone. You can try and swing around it. You can just try and get it inside it, just that little pops. You can go. Uh, you can try and thread it through, or you can go over the top and look to stretch it deep, as Vogel did there. Locked eyes with the target she wanted downfield, and banged it in there. 
Simone Vogel, of course, sir. Uh, you know, got, got, a, got a slightly famous uh, frisbee husband. Just a bit. But having played for 34 years, she's got the throws. Originally from Bern, currently living in Geneva. And one of those many individuals who is a frisbee sibling. Have we got a term for a frisbee sibling yet? No. Answers on a postcard. Suggestions in the comments if you are with us this morning or oh whatever time it is local to you. And I think you, if you want to get in those comments, you have to be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. So if, if you're not yet, why not now? Oh, that's a beautiful one out into the space off the palms of Eric Feldner and just sits in the perfect space for Ingo Hertel and him alone to catch. It's one of those, get it out there nice and early and Hertel has such speed along the sand. Just put it out there and let him chase it down. Well, Feldner has a lethal flick fake. But as he gets this dish, no fakes required. Just simply throw the perfect dime. Yeah, get it out in front as well, nice and early. So Hanushek is on that back shoulder. There's nothing Hansa can do. Felk, no one of the Saxi divers are coming out of Leipzig. Yeah, Saxi divers who were in attendance at EBUCC. They certainly were. And there's a interesting career highlight, Benji. A UKU national champion. So at the university level. Doesn't say with which team, though. Mystery. We'll have to find that one out for you. Yeah, do some digging. So it's half taken for young legends in pretty quick fashion. These games, 45 minutes long. Timed half at 25. But of course, that's po point cap 13. Love catching the pool. Gets your offense just into motion so much quicker. Very fast movement from Curia Islands. A foul in the centre of the field. It's going to be a discussion as to whether the throw was probably too much. Yeah, whether it was catchable. The contact was quite early. And they're not sure, so they're going to send that one back. A put from Annika Rochelle. Yeah, what I like is that although they've said they will contest it and will contest it quickly, it wasn't like, oh, we're definitely not going to agree, so we'll just send it back and get on with it. It was, we agree that the correct thing to do is send it back because we don't know whether we had a play at it. It's a much more productive discussion than some others you see. Yep. It's quite a high, but we'll get and wind back the tape. Annika Rutschel going to choose a much more conservative pass this time to Hoffman. But there is that a hand block, Benji? It sounded a little bit to me like she got a tip off that disc, did Holtkemeyer. Oh, Holtstadt nearly throws the disc away. Staffenson with a huge save. Dish over the top into the space. Defenders closing in, but Staffenson able to reel that one in. Uh, what do they say in the, what does, what does Flash say in the intro? None of the pivots, all of the throws. I think that qualifies as one of them. Just seeing the space, how can I hit that option? It's, a it's quite a tight window. What can I do to squeeze it in there? We'll go with that over the top, just elevate it over the defense and get it to drop right into the bucket. Yeah, a dish and then the receive here from Stefansson. Yeah, you can see why Schmidt's becoming a key player for this young legend side. Six goals coming into this game, and that's his fourth assist of the tournament as well. So into double digits overall. Volker Schmidt. The number 69. Hasn't seen too many 69s at the seniors level, but a couple here in the Masters division. Oh, and that's a lovely one out into space, but an unfortunate overthrow. Jay Lee once again trying to attack the far space in the pitch. Yeah, Medkova knows that Jay Lee is very fleet of foot, and he's also <laughs> easy to spot with the lay flowing around his neck. So good opportunity then to open up the offense, uncork the arm, but even Lee not quite able to catch up to that one. Oh, with the lay for added decoration, Benji, thoughts on the Curry Islands strip? 
It's a it's a kit, isn't it? I must admit, it's maybe a bit too too busy for me. But I like that they're embracing their island tropical heritage. Sort of. Heritage indeed, this storied team of Curry Island. Nice to see them still keeping the love alive here at the club level. Shunk. Looking for an option underneath, has no one. A solid switching upfield from the female matching defenders and a high stall reset. Shunk across to Swordmeyer. You can hear the energy escaping the lips of Klaus Schunk as he run up that line. Oh, and that's a lovely space pass, but is it going to be too much of a sky biscuit? Yes, it is. Just the fingertips there of Jose Falcao. Yeah, there might be a discussion about whether that's going to be a foul. You mentioned that Pirelli can gun it. And shows off the arm strength once more with that blade. We can't quite get a great view as to how much contact there is because there's a player in the way. But I think this is going to be an accepted foul and that will give the opportunity for Bircher to bring it in at the front of the end zone. Yeah, if anything, too much of a flat release there, Benji. Yeah, I think also could have done with, with leading that one a little bit more towards the sideline. So one on one in the end zone and unsurprisingly, especially on sand, the battle is won by the offense. Is that Homer King with another goal? It is indeed. Christoph Birch has had a, a little bit of a storied career. Former World Games representative back in 2005, so played at the very highest level of the sport and also means that, you know, he's got mixed experience as well. And Homer King's just ever so reliable. Oh, when we would be remiss to not mention the reappearance of Team Germany at the World Games. Didn't they do well? They did fantastically well. I mean, that's, a, that's well. a hell of an understatement. I was so impressed with the cohesion, the kind of all-around ability, good mix ultimate that Germany played at the World Games, which I must admit, I thoroughly enjoyed watching just all tournament long. Yeah, they really sort of upped the standard in terms of preparation. And as you say, that cohesion was absolute dynamite to watch. Maybe maybe peaked a little bit soon in that tournament, but uh, fantastic to see Borussia having had represented back in 2005. So it's a long time waiting. But hopefully we won't be waiting too long for the next point to go on the board for Korea Island. This three-point run for young legends as that's run down excellently by Anna-Kathrin Hogtmeier. Yeah, thinking that I'm not going to give anyone the opportunity maybe to try and pick that off, so I'm just going to make sure that I catch it and get us in play quickly as well. Hogtmeier poached. Nice one to Felgner. Hogtmeier... Nice little sneaky poach off from the deep defender tasked with matching against Ingo Hertel. Hertel looking a little lost for options. Finds Felgner. Oh, and he just turns around, falls on the floor once he's secured the goal. Ingo Hertel. And getting a little help up from Annika Tlin Hogtmeier. Yeah, what you're seeing there is the advantage of, because you're so used to, you attack the space, you clear out. You attack the space, you clear out that if you make that sharp cut and you don't get it, a defender, you're kind of, you're a little bit, you just assume that the clear out's gonna come, but especially on sand, you wanna try and move as little as possible. So you wait till the defender gets those hip turn, hips turned and you burn back to the open side. And by the time they adjust, especially over that short distance and when it's so difficult to close that separation on beach, you can have already punched it in by that point. Three shy of the win here are young legends over Courier Island. There was a little bit of a poach off in the lane from Manikum Narayan, but as you say, he sort of turned the weight, shifted himself across. And well observed by Hertel to go and hit that open side. So, Korea Island struggling a little bit on their connections, of course. It's sometimes a bit of a mixture of people and personnel for Korea Islands. Yeah, a very international affair. 
bringing players from all sorts of different countries and ultimate communities. And that means trying to mesh the different play styles together as well. And we're seeing another zone coming out of Young Legends to try and take advantage of these different connections to throw a different look at them. And that's a laser through the center to Jay Lee. Fergal. Oh, a Ooh. reaching grab in front. Hero save from Touton. Deep shot going down. Lovely one across Medkova. The zone broken. Oh, well kept in by Wu. Leaving next to each other on the roster and punches it in for the goal for Korea Island. And the roll break train is paused. Yeah, that's their first point for Korea Island since they scored to make it 6-3. Four on the bounce for the Germans, but finally able to arrest that momentum. And they required a couple of big plays to do it. Some layouts, some creative shots down the sideline. This was exactly the right option. Swinging across the pitch, getting a little bit of air underneath it, giving Medkova time to assess her options before she's even caught it. And then in the red zone, punching it into Teuton, who was so big for Carrier Island on that possession. 10-4. It's an interesting warmth choice, the tank top with the necky. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Although they are very nice to have around you. Just a little bit of warmth around, the, you know, keeping the head firmly attached. See Ricardo's in front of us being a good citizen, trying to find a bin. We do have a lot of time for Ricardo, the venue director here in Portimao. Securing the lovely sounds of the Pride de Rocha again. Doesn't Smile. know he's on camera. He's yeah. not going to give us away. But look at the look at the intensity of that man. Look at those shoulders. Hey. And the smile that greets us every morning at breakfast and says good evening to us every night at dinner. Could melt even the coldest heart. He's pretty good at throwing frisbees as well. I've, I've seen it, he is. Had a little throw around with us earlier on the sands. A nice low one kept in by Schoenberg. Pops off. Lim, no, not Lehman, that's Coldstadt. Oh, squeaks it through across and opens up the break side. Staffenson is there for the quick goal. How did he get that throw off? I'm not quite sure. It just a, all sorts of awkward angle with the stall count rising. He's got those players in front of him, so how can I thread this through? Yep, Tim Kolstad really digging deep into the trunk. It's not a toolkit, it's a trunk. Here we go, we can see it now on the low angle replay. He's trying to lock on that. Oh my word, it's like a, a no pivot inside out backhand. That is utter filth from Kolstad and I love it. Yep, sits far into that deep pivot underneath and a little shot there of the very handsome Jens Schoenberg. Yeah, getting a slap on the back from Staffenson who caught that throw for the goal. But yeah, that was all set up by the hockey assist from Tim Kolstad. The financial director currently living in Barcelona, which is where he's from originally. 33 year strong career. And that maybe explains some of those... Uh, some of that beach experience here because, of course, Barcelona itself has some nice beaches and beach tournaments. Of course, EBUCC four years ago was on the sounds of Castel de Fels, which was also the venue for the European, as it was, ECBU back in 2013. Yes, indeed. I played that tournament myself with not current islands, but European islands. Yeah, my theory about the United European Islands is that the rising sea levels submerged them, pushed them underwater, and then the drift pushed Carrier Island into Europe. Well, that one added to the women's division just to make sure there was enough. And it's female matching players going to work there. Claudia Hermaking with the block. Off a slightly dialed in pass to Christina Medkova. Yeah, the stall was getting quite high, so may as well see if you can spear one into the end zone. Like a kebab of fish. But they're going to be fishing for nothing but sand on that big release from Young Legends. Perhaps trying to play the yards game. Woo! Putting it into the deep space oh my goodness 
I'll tell you what, Wu. had Wu not lost his footing, I think he could well have got that. Shunk beamed it deep, no one there, and then almost got punished quickly on the turn as well, out of position, on that shot to Wu, but they just couldn't connect with it. Well, Jay Lee with the idea there. And Janssen Wu has to be given a little medal for his efforts out here for Korea Island, really trying to expand the play. Solid switching downfield, but there's a little bit of hesitation not exploited as Eric Touton nearly baits that deep throw. Yeah, I think they, the sideline tried to call to switch to it, but they picked up a little bit too late. Shunk is still hanging around deep. Oh, the trailing edge layout. Huge stuff. And there's uh, Akenbach says, mate, mate, do you want to take a little breather? That was uh, that was quite impressive. Yeah, and Shunk is like, you know what? I, th I think I will take the breather, yes. And as the players on the field take a pause and repose, we're going to do exactly the same here in the booth, but we will see you for the rest of this match after these messages. Look at that crap. Woof. We believe mixed is the best for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultimeek. Ultimeek.net. Right now, he's going to have to bid. Oh, just a, oh, just a football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed. I was called electric, become a member. Welcome back to the second half of the World Great Grandmasters Beach Ultimate Club Championships. Power pool action here with Young Legends versus Courier Island. And <laughs> Benji Reeves here alongside myself, Hannah Pendlebury, on the call. We've seen a timeout taken as Young Legends look to put themselves one shy of the win. Nowhere else I'd rather be, Hannah. Indeed, Portimao, the weather has cleared up and so has an option in the end zone. Claudia Hermiking with the goal. And we are now on our first game point of this match. You see the cut there from Achenbach draws all the attention into the front of the end zone. The defender behind tries to clam into that space to stop the instant scoring pass. But Schunk is wise to the ploy and is able to get that rolling edge around the defender to pin Herma King at the back of the end zone. 12-4, one away from victory from the uh, assist from the number one jersey. It's not the number one jersey, but you know what we mean. It's the one with the weird bit of tape on it. The weird tape one jersey. But of course, Klaus Schunk might have forgotten to bring the right clothing. I mean, we've all done it, to be fair. But say that. Have I done it? I'm almost certain that I've done it. I'm trying to think if I've ever forgotten my jersey. I feel like I'm the sort of person, maybe not for a tournament, but I've definitely turned up to training with accidentally like three lights and no darks. <laughs> That's why it's all about the reversibles, Benji. But yeah, Klaus Schunk, Schunk might have not brought the right attire but he's definitely brought the right attitude and he's got all the throws out here on this pitch, this sandy, sandy pitch. So Libor Seft swinging across. Hoffman asking for cuts very nicely. Does, says please and everything. Oh, and that might be too much of a tip D. Gets the second as Eric Feldner. Yeah, Hoffman didn't really have a lot to work with. So just tried to get that lead pass out. Felgner does the right thing, sticks with it after the initial block and makes sure he's there to knock it down a second time of asking. Oh, and that's going to be game point. Nope, just lays out the shoulder, hits the sand, not in the end zone first, just a pop over the top to Peter Staffenson, who's had a 
pretty good game. He's done a lot of saving of uh, ambitious passes for Young Legends. Possibly my player of the match, Benji. Yeah, he's quietly efficient, isn't he? He hasn't necessarily made huge throws or big plays, but it's just timing and rhythm there for Staffenson. And talk about this inside, the inside break that really opened up the position from Falconer. You could see Herzl trying his darndest to make sure that he could milk that one into the end zone, even if he couldn't quite get it in the end. Here's that turn, palmed away at the second time of asking there by Felgner. The old double defense. It's a huge mack into the air. A little bit of 500s, but again, alert, making sure that he's not going to leave any chance for the trash to be collected. Gets really aggressive with this inside break across. Hertel tries his utmost to bring that in, but that right foot comes down just the wrong side of the line from his perspective. But as he gets up, flips the backhand to Staffenson for the 11-13-4 uh, victory for Young Legends. A very, very strong performance from the Germans here. Well, we do know that German players do love their beach ultimate. Sandstrom, of course, that mixed program that has given us so many fantastic players throughout the generations. And, of course, there's a historic game, Benji, that I don't know if you've had a chance to see where perhaps a German team versus a USA team many moons ago went to the wire in the final was very exciting to watch indeed so but it's not about history it's about the future now as we cast our eyes towards our final game of power pool play we will have le jet of france versus beers of japan up on the live stream next that's going to be 11 o'clock local time so in 50 minutes set your watches now and then in the afternoon slot we're going to move to quarterfinals but we're going to have to wait, of course, until the final games are played out here on the beaches before we can tell you exactly who those will be. But we'll have one from each side of the bracket, the 9 to 16 first, and then the championship to finish us off at 5 o'clock local. So as we watch the highlights from that matchup, well played by Courier Islands, but L Young Legends just had a little bit too much extra polish and finesse on the way they played. For myself, Hannah Pendery, for Benji Reese, for all of the old TV crew working out here under the sands. We're going to close this one up, but we will see you very soon for more action here in Portimao. Maybe somewhere I haven't been before I don't wanna kill the vibe I don't wanna feel it if it don't feel right I just wanna break the ice Gonna have to bid. Oh, just a oh, just a football. <laughs> Huge layout block. Unbelievable stuff on the front corner of the end. Maybe well. just that boost of energy they needed.
The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread Ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Ultimate. for the sport, for the world. That's why we're making a global showcase, starting in Europe, made in Amsterdam. Ultiveek. Ultiveek.net. on the move? You can keep up to date with Ulti TV on all of our social media channels. Like, follow, subscribe, share us with a friend or send us a message just to say hey. Thank you for supporting us in our mission to grow ultimate everywhere. Don't want to miss anything? There are loads of tournaments happening, which you can attend either as a player or a spectator. You can find them on UltiCal, link in the description.